Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, uh, pretty much a recent one from my last one, uh, I'm going to talk about the software program that I mentioned in my last video called VCDS. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the purpose of it, what it's used for, and how it can overall save you guys like a lot of money. So I already got it all set up. So let me just go ahead and get it started. So, so basically what it is, is it's a diagnosis program. And like I said in my other video, it pretty much reads the entire car's electrical systems. And here in this main menu, you can see the different levels that you can get to. So I have a pretty outdated version um, but it works for my car so I don't really update it it still reads everything and that I needed to have done so I'm just gonna leave it as it is but as you can see we have the control module menu which shows pretty much everything from the engine the transmission to brakes airbags parking parking brake uh, headlights, sound system, uh, general central electronics. And you can go to each one of these and you can actually see how and if it's healthy or not. So I'm going to go to the transmission here for a second. And it gives you the the VAG number, which I'm assuming is the part number, component, soft coding. I'm not really sure what most of the stuff is, but it's kind of irrelevant for what you really need it for. And here at the bottom is where you can see the fault codes, supplemental codes, basic settings, coding, adaptation, output tests, and other things. So this is pretty much the same for every menu in a VCDS. So now I'm going to show you guys uh, you got the auto scan. You can reset your service interval. Uh, particular functions for the uh, USB cable that comes with the software applications. Don't really touch that. And program options um, which you can select USB or serial port. So what I usually do is every every week or every other week, I pretty much just scan my car. And I do that with the auto scan. And what this does, it's just going to go through every system that the car has and determine if there's any faults or not. Now there's are, there are a few faults that I have, but they're actually the ones I generated because I changed the uh, couple MMI settings that doesn't come factory with the car so the car is going to throw a fault with those so so I'll just show you guys real quick and process takes about I don't know about three four minutes or so so you can see those two in red so it's going by one by one Showing the engine, no fault codes found. Next, it's going to go to the transmission. Again, no fault codes found. And it's just going to keep going and going until it gets to the very bottom. Now, sometimes it'll come back um, where it says it can't read the control module, like you just saw right there. That happens every so often. I'm not sure exactly why, but it's still operational. It's probably just a kink wrong with the computer. So, so I'm gonna try to just get down to where I actually have the faults. One is uh, digital radio. Uh, that's a fault that I've had since I've had this car, and it's because I don't have digital radio with this car. So it's gonna throw a fault. And another thing 
it's going to show is so I have this auto drive select enabled and it doesn't come standard with the car so the car sees this enabled but it doesn't see the components associated with so it's also going to throw a code for that so then you see digital radio tuner not enabled activated just because I don't have it and at any time you can always hit escape and it'll stop the automatic sequence So, so I didn't go through the whole thing just for sake of time, but that's pretty much what VCDS is. It just scans your whole car and pretty much determines if there's any fault codes or anything like that. So like I said, it's pretty useful to have. It'll save trips going to the dealer and it'll save you money because you can do it, like I said, right here in your garage. You can see what's wrong with your car. It'll tell you what's wrong. You can look up the actual fault codes online tell you what part you might need order the part replace the part if you're you know mechanically inclined and clear the fault code so that's pretty much what I've been doing since I've had this car uh, if you have any questions about this software like I said it's called VCDS you can get it online at Ross Tech that's R-O-S-S dash T-E-C-H dot com Ross Tech is rather pricey but considering what it can do, and it's only a one-time buy, it'll it'll pay for itself. So, like I said, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.